In this video, let's learn how JSON Server supports pagination. Right now, if we navigate to slash products, we get all the items in the products array. But when you're displaying a list of products, or if you have a table, pagination is something you might have to support. To paginate the data, we append question mark underscore page in the URL. To this, we assign a page number. Now by default, each page returns 10 items. So if we specify question mark underscore page is equal to one, we get back all the 10 products in our JSON file. If we have more than 10 though, we would see only the first 10 products. If you specify page is equal to two, you would see the next 10 products and so on. Of course, specifying the page size is also a requirement at times. We can do that using the underscore limit option. So after page is equal to one, specify ampersand underscore limit and let's set it to two. So the page size is now two. When I press enter, we see only the first two products in the array. ID is equal to one and ID is equal to two. If we now specify page is equal to two, we see the next two products, three and four. Similarly, page three and so on. As you can see, it is pretty easy to serve paginated data with JSON server. Now one thing I would like to point out is that JSON server also supports pagination URLs in the response header. If I open DevTools, Network Panel, and navigate to the first page, under response headers, in the link key, you can see the URL for the first page, the next page, and the last page. Similarly, if we navigate to the second page, so page is equal to two, we see links for the first page, the previous page, the next page, and the last page. This is similar to what the GitHub API does for pagination. When you make a request, you can access this link using response.headers.get and then readily use the links for pagination. Of course, you can also build the URL yourself in the front end, whichever is easier for you. But this is pretty much how you paginate your JSON data with JSON server. As you can see, with just one file and zero coding, you're able to cater to so many types of API requests. We have a few more features to cover, so let's keep going. I'll see you in the next video.